revolutionary exploit of the great lyrical reggae in Yes, 1982. On the occasion of the 71st of the great lyrical reggae. And uh, the torch is 20 meters high and weighs more than four. Um, I've visited nearly 70 times. Um, I work for a travel company in Beijing as a tour leader and organising tours and our, our work is to bring foreigners here to your country, to DPRK. Um, in 1993, so we've been running tours for nearly 20 years. Mm, we, we chose the word choreo because we know it's a very, uh, it has a lot of meaning to the people in DPRK um, and we know that it was the name of the first unified dynasty here uh, and also because our company only runs tours, we specialise in tourism to DPRK so we wanted to choose a name that was special to the Korean people. Um, after visiting the DPRK, all of the tourists, um, they're very interested, they have many questions and they're very happy to be able to come and hear for themselves um, the, the story of, of your country and the history of your country. Because often in the West uh, we hear that the Western media sometimes portrays DPRK in a different way, so it's very good for tourists to be able to come to the country and hear for themselves and hear from the Korean people. Um, they're very interested in visiting places which have a lot of meaning for uh, the Korean people um, and also especially visiting somewhere like the DMZ and Panmunjom because they're able to see for themselves um, the division of uh, your country, um, of the division of Korea and see how tragic it is. This year um, we've had around 500 tourists this year and we expect uh, by the end of the year to have had around around 1400 tourists maybe yeah very very interested yeah that is one of the highlights of the trip to DPRK for them um, there's there's nothing else like it in the world uh, so they all find it absolutely breathtaking and very very special experience we, we are we are trying to do that we've already um, made several films about the DPRK um, and also we're making a fourth film at the moment which should hopefully be finished next year um, as well as that we try and uh, do cultural exchanges for example last year with the support of the British Embassy we brought the Middlesbrough women's football team to DPRK to play two matches um, and next year we hope to take a DPRK women's football team to Europe um, we also have art cultural exchanges um, and other sporting exchanges so we hope to keep doing more and more of these Institute of Tutti Idea from all over the world. Here, this is from International Institute of the Tutti Idea. It was formed in Japan in 1970. You guys gave one, Denmark. but there wasn't enough yes, room. Yes, so the only unified to take career, that is from USA and Australia. Uh, the third one from the top of the heritage or all the idea of Kim Il -sung. So, so we'll go up to the top of the monument to see the view of the people.